Okay, let's talk about handguns. This is the subject of a lot of debate. I'm going to give you my opinion, and I'll explain why, and then uh, you should continue your research before you decide what kind of handgun you're going to get. In a survival situation, and for uh, concealed carry and home defense and that kind of thing, some people recommend a revolver. And the reason is that it's, it's so simple to operate, and uh, there are very few moving parts. It's a very simple mechanism, which means that there's not a lot of failures. In a semi-automatic handgun, you've got this magazine that has to feed the next round in every time the slide goes back, every time you pull the trigger. And uh, there's just more moving parts that can fail, more things that can go wrong. And so uh, reliability is always an issue that people talk about when they're uh, looking for something more reliable, and they usually fall on the side of using a revolver. You know, if you're not very familiar with handguns, maybe you should go with a revolver first. This is a Taurus model in uh, 357 Magnum. And the reason I like this is because uh, the 357 Magnum round is very powerful, very good for uh, personal defense. Uh, we use hollow points. You can practice with uh, uh, 38 caliber plus P, which means extra power, extra powder. And so you're not going to the expense of shooting 357 rounds the whole time that you're practicing. In the ranges that you're going to be practicing in, uh, say out to maybe 10 yards or so, uh, the 38 and the 357 have about the same degree of accuracy, so it's okay to practice with the 38. I like semi automatics. Uh, they hold a lot of rounds, they keep shooting. My favorite is the Glock. Its reliability has been proven for years, and it's just uh, it's a rock solid semi automatic handgun. Uh, for carrying around, this is a very good option. This little gun is so light, and uh, you can get it in a 9mm. This happens to be a Glock Model 26, uh, which is a subcompact 9mm and it has an extended magazine, which gives you a spot for your pinky, gives you a little bit better grip. It's very light, and uh, it, not very accurate because it's such a small handgun, but in the close ranges that we're talking about for personal defense, it's excellent. And 9mm is very easy to get, very common all over the world. This is a Glock Model 21 SF. Glock 21 is a full frame 45 caliber. SF means that it has a short frame. It's a little bit shorter in this dimension on the grip than the regular 21. And what that means is that people with uh, small hands like mine can fit around the 21 grip and get a really good grip on it. It also comes with a Picatinny rail. This is my favorite for personal defense. One thing to note about the 21SF, it uses a different magazine than the regular Glock Model 21. Look for the one that has this silver bar right here at the top, okay? The reason it uses a different magazine is because the 21SF has an ambidextrous magazine release, unlike the 21. This is the most popular handgun that Taurus ever made. It's the Taurus Judge. What it is, it's basically a shotgun, but because the barrel is rifled, it's not technically a shotgun. So what you have is a pistol shotgun that shoots 410 shot shells or 45 caliber, like Colt, 45 Colt. I recommend getting the one that comes in a Magnum. It'll shoot three inch shot shells. Okay, this is another very good semi-automatic handgun. It's the, it's the XD45. It has a very clear loaded chamber indicator. If you've got a 45 caliber bullet in the chamber, 45 caliber round in the chamber, then this is going to pop up and you can feel it or see it very distinctly. It also has a very clear striker ready indicator. It means it's cocked, only it doesn't have a hammer, it uses a striker. And this little knob sticks out here at the back. You can feel it or see it very easily. It's got a squishy trigger that I don't like. Uh, but the ergonomics of the gun are fantastic, and it's a very good value because it comes with all kinds of uh, modular components and a Picatinny rail. It comes with a magazine loader assist, it comes with a holster, and it comes with another holster for two extra magazines. Very good value in a handgun.